we are given a transfer function as s plus 1 s plus 2 upon s cube uh, we have to draw the polar plot of the transfer function we have to find the phase crossover frequency which is omega pc we have to find gain margin and we have to discuss stability so first of all we can see that it is a type 3 system because of the three poles at the origin the number of poles at the origin give the type of the system so this is a type 3 system because uh, at the denominator we can see that there are uh, there is the term s cube so it denotes three poles at the origin so the plot will start from minus 270 degree because each pole the contribution of each pole is minus 90 so there are three poles at the origin so the plot starts from minus 270 and we are given two zeros at the numerator we can see that there are two zeros at s equal to minus 1 and s equal to minus 2 so uh, the plot will end at minus 90 degree because the contribution of each zero is plus 90 so uh, because of two zeros there will be contribution of plus 180 so if we add plus 180 to minus 270 so it uh, uh, it gives that the plot will end at minus 90 so i have drawn this plot it starts from minus 270 uh, this is the axis which denotes angle minus 270 this axis denotes minus 180 this axis denotes minus 90 so the plot will start from minus 270 it will cross the minus 180 axis and then it will end at minus 90 at omega equal to infinity uh, this uh, this point where it crosses this uh, s axis is the uh, will give the phase crossover frequency and we have to find this distance uh, to uh, discuss the stability of the system so first of all we find the phase crossover frequency so uh, this is the transfer function we are given uh, g of s equal to s square plus 3s plus 2 upon s cube so first we substitute s is equal to j omega uh, so if we substitute s equal to j omega then it we get minus omega square plus 3 j omega plus 2 and upon minus j omega cube so to find the omega pc the phase crossover frequency we obtain it by equating the imaginary value to zero so this term and this term will contribute to the imaginary value and this term 3j omega will contribute to the real value because uh, the j in the numerator and denominator will cancel each other so uh, this we i have taken both these terms 2 upon minus j omega cube and minus omega square upon minus j omega cube is equal to 0 so uh, multiplying by j uh, by to both numerator and denominator we get 2j upon omega cube minus j omega square upon omega cube equal to 0 so taking j as common 2 minus omega square is equal to 0 so we get omega pc which is the phrase uh, crossover frequency is equal to under root 2 and now we have to calculate the real value so the real value is calculated as minus from this term 3j omega upon minus j omega cube so j and j will get cancelled so we get minus 3 upon omega pc whole square so this will be equal to minus 3 upon 2 because omega pc value is under root 2 so the real value is minus 3 upon 2 uh, gain